Two of the GAC's headliners made noise again this week with their play on the court. Southeastern's Kevin Buckingham became the all-time leader in rebounds for the conference. With six boards on the night against rival East Central, Buckingham passed Southern Nazarene's Noah Starkey to move to the top of the list. His rebounding total, including those he hauled in against Southwestern on Saturday, now stands at 751 and counting. Southeastern's 79-57 win over East Central unlocked a tie at the top of the league standings as well. And with a little help from Arkansas Tech, who defeated Henderson State, the Savage Storm are now alone in first place in the GAC standings, nearing the midpoint in the race. Southeastern is at 8-2. Southern Nazarene and Henderson State are 7-3, while East Central dropped into a three-way tie for fourth with Tech and Oklahoma Baptist. Also of individual note is Southern Nazarene's Jonathan Dunn. Dunn earned recognition as the Player of the Week for the fourth time this season. This week, he earned the honor by becoming the first player in GAC history to reach the 2,000-point mark. He did it in a Crimson Storm win over Oklahoma Baptist, scoring 28 and followed that by putting in a career-high 42 points against East Central. Dunn is currently second in Division II in scoring at 28.6 points per game. Southeastern's men aren't the only team in Durant alone at the top of the GAC standings. The women's team is 9-1 in league play. The Storm defeated rival East Central 63-41 at home on Thursday, and then on Saturday in Weatherford stopped Southwestern's 38-game home winning streak with a 79-69 win over the Lady Bulldogs. Southern Nazarene is a game behind Southeastern at 8-2 in GAC play. Southwestern follows at 7-3, and, and four teams are in a logjam at 6-4. Among those are Harding and Arkansas Tech. The Lady Bisons are staying in the GAC hunt with two wins last weekend, including an overtime victory over Tech. Harding's Cheyenne Brown earned the Player of the Week nod with a career-high 28 points in the road win over the Golden Suns. She averaged 22.5 points, 9 rebounds, and 2.5 blocks in the wins over rival Tech and Southern Arkansas. And the GAC Baseball and Softball Preview Series Countdown to First Pitch continues this week and can be heard on the conference website, greatamericanconference.com. This has been the GAC Weekly. I'm Joey McWilliams. To see and hear this and more about the GAC and other college and high school sports, please visit oklahomasports.net and arkansasports.net, and please subscribe to this YouTube channel, Midwest Sports Net, home of the GAC Weekly.